Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to change color uh, in the middle of a project and how to join a new ball of yarn to your project. Say you've run out in the middle and you need to add a new ball of yarn. We're going to learn how to do that today without knots, without tying, so that you have a, a smooth, seamless piece of work. So thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe using the little button there in the bottom right hand corner. And in doing so, you'll receive updates and news about free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials, which are added weekly to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. Okay, and so now to get us started today, I have just crocheted a couple rows of single crochet stitches. Uh, my starting chain was 21, and then I single crocheted in the check second chain from my hook all the way across, and then I did one more row back all in one solid color just so I can um, show you a little bit more clearly how to add in a new color. So this is just two rows of single crochet stitches. Now say in my pattern I it said to with color A which is this color here that I've started with with color A to single crochet in the next 10 stitches and then to switch to color B. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So I'm just going to do as my pattern had instructed, single crochet in the next 10 stitches, but then I want to change to my color B, and this is my color B here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 stitches, and then it wants me to change to color B. Now, uh, some might just fasten off and then start with color B, or they might join my, your color B with a knot, but we want to do our color change seamlessly. We don't want to have any knots or any bulges in our fabric. So what we are going to do, where we know that we have to change and the 11th stitch it has to be our new color, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back a stitch. So I've now crocheted nine stitches, and then I, my next stitch has to be in color A, but then I need to switch to color B. So to switch to my color B, I'm going to, in the next stitch, insert my hook, this is for a single crochet hook stitch, and I'm going to drop my loop in my color A, because this stitch still needs to be in my color A. Then to change to my color B for the next stitch, Instead of completing this stitch uh, with my color A, I'm going to drop it. I'm just going to leave it, set it aside. I'm going to pick up my color B. I'm going to place my color B on my hook. And I'm going to complete the stitch using the color B. Just like that. Now you have your color B on your hook. You're probably going to want to just pull that color A a little bit more tighter and your color B so that your stitches are even. But now you're all ready to go with your color B. So leaving that color A, you're just simply going to continue on in the next stitch with your color B. And I like to work over top of my two ends just to make them a little bit more secure. Later on, you're going to go and you're going to weave those ends in. So now you can see I have my 10 stitches in color A and now my first stitch in color B. And I would just continue working all the way across or as my pattern instructed. And that's quickly like how you join a new color um, in the middle of a project. I'll show you that one more time. And now the same technique can be used for joining, say, a brand new ball of yarn in the same color. Okay, so I've reached the end of my row. I'm just going to chain one 
and I'm going to turn my work. Now I'm going to single crochet back and I'll show you how to join that ball of yarn once again. Now for your pattern, depending on the pattern you're working, you may have fastened your color off, your color A, and you may uh, weave in your ends. Or um, you may, if you're doing something like I'm doing, and you're going to be just working a straight line of color up, you may leave it already attached so you have less ends to weave in. It just depends on your project, whether you want to cut it and fasten off or keep that uh, color A attached and then carry it up through your work. So I'm here at my ninth stitch and then I want to uh, after my, my 11th stitch I want to change my color so I got to think a little bit ahead. I'm going to my next stitch is my color B so I'm going to insert my hook and drop a loop in my color B. Now I'm not going to complete it with my color B because the next stitch has to be my color A so I'm going to drop it and then I'm going to pick up my color A and I'm going to put it on my hook and complete that single crochet stitch with that color A. I can then continue on as my pattern instructs me to with the new color. Okay, so that's just quickly. And again, you can use this same technique uh, in order to add a new ball of yarn. And when you look at your work, there's no knots, you're just going to weave in this end and you're going to have straight edging and uh, just a continuous, continuous work. Now say I was going to work some double crochet stitches. So here I'm going to pull this out for you and I'll just show you how to do the join in a couple of different stitches. Okay, so I have my color A fabric here. For my double crochet at the end I'm going to chain three and then I'll just work a couple of double crochet stitches. Now say I either run out of yarn in this ball of yarn or I need to change color whatever the reason may be I have to add at this point another ball of yarn on. So what I'm going to do for the double crochet stitch is I'm going to yarn over, I'm going to insert my hook, I'm going to drop a loop. I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through two loops. Now again instead of completing the stitch when I'm down to those two loops on my hook, instead of completing the stitch with my color A or my first ball of yarn, I'm going to pick up the new ball of yarn, I'm going to drape it over my hook, and I'm going to complete the stitch with that new ball of yarn. And then you are once again free to continue on. And again, I like to just crochet over at least once just to kind of keep those, uh, that end secure a little bit better. And then later on, I'm going to go back and I'm going to weave in my ends. But now uh, with the double crochet stitch, I have successfully added on a new ball of yarn or a new color. And you can see at the back again, there's no knots. It's just clean looking uh, color change. And that's all there is to adding a new ball of yarn or changing color. You can use this technique in any stitch. So for a half double crochet, I would insert my hook, I would yarn over, and then right before you complete that stitch, so just at the final step, you'd pick up your new ball of yarn and complete the stitch using that new ball of yarn. And that gets you ready to continue on. So you can um, really use this for any, uh, any stitch at all. And um, yeah, it's just a great way to uh, switch colors or add a new ball. So thank you so much for joining me for this quick tutorial on how to change colors or add a new ball of yarn in the middle of a project uh, without the use of knots. And uh, once again, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd like to update it weekly. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.